Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please go down and subscribe. So today, ah! I'm so exciting vlog guys. I've got th I think I'm gonna do three. It's either gonna be two or three. It depends how much I start to film because obviously I'm gonna be on holiday. Oh my god, I haven't even told you I'm going on holiday. Ah, me and Ben are going on holiday. Currently staying in an airport hotel um just for the night because then we're flying tomorrow from Gatwick. We didn't want to come up in like the rushed um airport slash rush hour traffic. Why am I out of breath? But let me give you a quick room tour. I'm gonna have a bath, shave my legs, like put some moisturizer on, wash my hair, like do all that shebang. Cheeky little room tour. We'll start with the bathroom whilst we're in here. But this is the bathroom. Oh, didn't notice that blue light. That's cool. And um, we've got a sink here, obviously lots of lovely mirrors, toilet, a mirror up here, which is slightly weird for Ben because you're having a wee, but you're kind of looking at yourself, which is kind of strange. Um, and then we have this shower here. Now this looks Strangely like my bathroom at home, which is kind of weird. A really, really lovely hotel. I think it's like a Marriott hotel, which I think is like a strain of quite nice hotels. So that's really, really nice. Our parents put this for us just to make it a little bit less stressful in the morning, which is really, really sweet of them. So thank you very much. This is the room here. So obviously we've got a twin room because we're bro and sis. We do not want to sleep in the same bed. Um, but they're kind of like, they're not double beds, but they're like, what do we call it? They're like four foot beds. Do you know what I mean? Like a, a small double. You're going to be in a hell of a lot of these vlogs, bro. You're going to have to be getting a bit more happy, jolly, hello vlog world. Yeah? Awesome. And then obviously I've got my suitcase here, which is so unbelievably heavy. Oh, we've got tissues coming out of the sink. Tissues coming out of the sink? Yeah. Why? So we left to drive up here from home. It took about two hours to drive. It wasn't too bad, to be honest. Um, there's a bit of a crash, so there was a bit of traffic. Um, but we're here now, and we can relax. I say that. We've been trying to check in. Oh, my God, guys. Right, oh, We're going to America. Did I even say? We're going to America. We're going to Florida. Uh, um, my grandparents obviously live there. If you watch my channel, like, right at the beginning, like, the first vlogs I ever put out on my channel, um, there are Florida vlogs. So we're going back to the Florida vlogs. Um, it was where I first started my channel, so it's a little bit nostalgic, which is kind of cute. And oh my God, it is so stressful to like try and work out all the different things that you need to be able to go. Oh my God, we needed a COVID test still. Fine, got it, was negative, obviously. Thank bloody God, because I swear to God, I would have literally died if it wasn't. Um, and then we need these like, I can't even say the word, it's like acetation or something like that, forms. And then we need, like, we need to check in online before, but like, for some reason it's not working because they're trying to verify the, the COVID stuff. Like, oh God, it's, it's honestly so stressful. Like, for anybody that finds this kind of stuff stressful, it's even more stressful. And it's just, it's not fun at all. I just can't wait for it to be over. It's not like how it was before, but... We're gonna get there, we will get there. I'm gonna have a bath, shower, shave, all that kind of nice stuff, because I haven't done any of that, because I was purposely gonna do it when I got here. I haven't painted my nails or anything like that, so I'm gonna do that as well. I got the train from Manchester this morning. I got on the train at 20 past 12, so I left my house at about 10 to 12. I've literally not let down until now. <laughs> like, I'm so nagged. I've literally been traveling for basically nine hours. That's an intro to the vlogs. I think there's gonna be free Florida vlogs. So I'm so excited to get them out for you. I hope you really, really enjoy them. Keep watching if you wanna see me another day. I'm just, honestly, I'm so excited. I haven't been on a hot holiday like this since before COVID, so. <laughs> excited we're so excited it's actually really really nice to wake up here and just be chilled isn't it like we're not rushed we're not anything like that get those open and get some real light in here we're ready now ready to go aren't we what time is it uh, about half eight 20 to nine should we go probably yeah we're probably gonna go to the airport now Dang, we've got a lot of stuff ready we're gonna go and have some breakfast in the airport i'm so hungry i don't know about you but i'm really hungry we were up at seven o'clock this morning. I think let's set off. I think there's like a little bus thing that takes us from here to the airport, but I think we're just gonna walk. So I think it's just around the corner. Like we're only at South Terminal, which I think is literally just around the corner. All right, we're sat on the bus. The laziness is, is unbelievable to be fair. I think it's literally a 10 minute walk. We ended up waiting 10 minutes for the bus and then paying three pound each to get <laughs> Just gonna be hard to walk. I know that if I was to walk, I would get there and I'd be like boiling. So we're just getting the bus. Oh yeah, also it's really, really sunny right now in England. Um, and I don't know about you, 
but I hate it when I go away and it's sunny because I like to go away and leave it really rainy so that everybody that's staying in England is really in the rain and the cold. Finally sat on the flight. I feel like that was the just honestly the worst ever experience I think I've ever had in my life. Um, we stood in that we stood in this queue. Basically, I tried to check in online and I couldn't check in online. I thought it'd be really, really easy to just go and check in at the airport like everybody else does. Worst experience ever. We stood still for like two hours. And finally got to the front of the thing and then obviously go through security. That was kind of quick. I went to get a sandwich because me and Ben haven't eaten. Ben literally didn't eat yesterday at all. So I like, we were literally starving. The guys were like arguing behind the Starbucks counter instead of making our sandwiches. I was like, guys, you're going to start fight. You're going to start fight. We're now looking at the, um, the TVs because you know when you don't like long haul flights they have TVs. With yeah. films on why am I not working? Yeah. Oh. Good morning. No, I say good morning. It really is the morning. It's about half past four right now um, in America. Um, but obviously at home, that means it's like half nine, I think. So me and Ben are both awake. I think he's going to come down here in a second. Severely jet lagged. We ended up staying up last night until like nine o'clock. So that was pretty good. Yeah, so I've had seven hours sleep. So that's not too bad. But I'm just so awake right now. And it's 4.30. But today we are going to go and pick up the car. And my nan have hired a car for us so that we can kind of get out and about on our own, which is I'm obviously so grateful for. So we're going to go pick that up today. Um, I think about nine o'clock. So what I'm going to do Ben's gonna come in here, we're just gonna sit and watch some telly. Um, I did a say it or show it video, so I might edit some of that. We'll eventually wake up and get ready, but right now we're just gonna chill because it's half four in the morning. Mate, we've come to sit outside. It's now, what time is it now? <laughs> like half six. This jet lag thing is weird. I think in a couple of days it'll be kind of back to normal-ish. I think the sun rises, like over there. Bonjour, do you want to come and say hi? Hello, baby. This is a gorgeous face. Yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Aww. It's love. <laughs> wow, look at that. Cereal, mm -mm -mm. Whoa, look at the size of that cereal box. Woo. Three cereal boxes in one that. Look at this beautiful sight I get to wake up to every morning for the next 10 days. I'm sorry, this just makes me feel so grateful for life. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. This thing, by the way, in case anybody doesn't know, it's, I can't remember what they're called. Lunai, I think it might be called. And it's like really, really thin kind of like mesh. Um, and it basically stops like bugs getting in. Um, and it also stops the sun because otherwise you'd lie out here and you'd just roast all the time, which is kind of frustrating because I do want to tan, but I am probably just going to set up a little bed there and lie out there. Um, but yeah, and it also keeps all the bugs and stuff away. So like there's no bugs or anything in here. Otherwise, can you imagine it? It'd be like filled in the pool. Hello, right. So it's a little bit later on in the day now. And um, we actually didn't end up going to pick up the car because whoever the lady was that was like giving us the car just cancelled on us last minute so we're not actually going and picking up the car anymore a bit frustrating but it is what it is do you know what i mean like we can't help these things um i'm now just chilling outside actually it's just really nice to just be here and just be in the sun and just relax just not do anything like it's so so lovely we just had a breakfast burrito for breakfast unbelievable if i do so so myself um, and then I think we're planning on, I've got a few things planned over the week. I'm going to see my friend Hannah, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, so I'm going to see her Sunday and I think Wednesday. I'm going to go to the beach with the fam and I'm just, I'm just so excited. Gone for a no makeup day today just because I feel like my skin needs to breathe after being on that plane. The lonely bay. As if I got a reason to act. His mama cry when she hit a rubber and shots hit the rubber. <laughs> Another day in paradise. I mean, I say that. It's currently thunderstorming outside. <laughs> now, obviously, like, 
these spots on my forehead just really need to go away. It's thunderstorms like every, basically most days in the summer because it gets so hot and it gets so like, like it just needs to thunderstorm basically. Um, but it's thunderstorming for a lot of the day today. Last night, I didn't really feel much yesterday to be honest with you. Obviously I was just kind of like getting settled in and stuff like that. We didn't end up going to get in the car. So we are getting the car today. Um, the lady cancelled on us. I don't know if I told you that actually. Um, but we're gonna go get another car today. So that's really good. And then basically last night we had dinner. We had like um, a pot roast, which was so good. Everybody kind of had a few drinks. We went in the hot tub and it was just really, really nice. Like chilled night, it was really good. But I've woken up this morning look at the time guys it's only 5 55 so we've made progress we've made progress on the jet lag thing um i'm gonna watch the selling sunset reunion because i haven't watched it yet um so i'm gonna watch that and then i'll probably get up and go and make a cup of coffee and stuff like that because by then it'll, it'll be seven o'clock which is definitely a reasonable time to get up do you know what i'm gonna do today i might see if i can have a little bit of a inside the house content day because i've got a lot of content to shoot and i do need to do that but obviously i want most of it to be outside and in the sun now 10 past seven so i'm gonna go and get a cup of coffee look who's come and joined me hey poncho this bitch just turned around <laughs> i don't want you to ask him at feet hey for cuddle cuddle me and the main man are sat in granddad's chair hey bobby ben what are you watching crime documentaries Oh, the sons of yeah, sons of Sam. So any, sons of sons of Sam. If you watch that on Netflix, go watch it. It's really really good. Um, it's currently like quarter to nine, so it's a reasonable time to be awake now. Wonder if it will actually get used to it this time that we're here. We probably will. Like it's got an, it's an hour. We got up an hour later than we did yesterday. I was thinking maybe we could go to um, Walmart today or Target. Yeah. That would be fun. So we got our car today. I've already said that. So I think maybe whilst it's a bit of a rainy crappy day, we could do that. And we could maybe also go to some thrift stores. It depends how, I'm a bit nervous about driving, to be honest. Um, obviously I, drive, I drove for like two months when I came before, but I'm quite nervous to do it again. Holly Boo, come here, can I have a cuddle? Right, so we have picked up a car. Um, currently driving home, we're in a bit of traffic. Um, Bend that angle, Ben's obviously holding the camera for me. He's my little cameraman right now. We're in a bit of traffic because it's a Saturday. Um, we picked up the car. I'm not gonna lie, I'm shitting myself a tiny little bit. It's actually really hard to drive. It's like got zero power whatsoever. Um, the cars I've driven here before had a lot of power. So I feel like I'm like trying to go quick and it's just like not really working, but we're learning, we're learning. Cute little white Ford, love it, but it's, it's a bit crappy to drive, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right, I'll, um, I'll speak to you when I get home if we're still alive. Right guys, hello from my new whip. Um, <laughs> so I've just, I, I said I was gonna um, obviously talk to you when I got home, but I didn't speak to you when I got home because we pretty much just got straight back in the car. Um, but we have driven, I've driven to say yeah, I've driven to say yeah. It was actually, to be fair, I did okay, didn't I, Bam? I did I did I did okay it's quite stressful look it's quite stressful um but I, I got us here fine we're actually going thrift shopping so we've got this thrift store here and then there is one more that if we don't find like anything here obviously if we spend all our money here then we can't go anywhere else um if not we'll go to a different one um but yeah thrift shopping is just such a fun thing to do when you're in America Ben's conveniently lost his wallet so you guys pay <laughs> um right let's go let's go let's go let's go Right, what do we think of these guys? They're Levi's jeans, they're men's Levi's. They're, I know they're big around the waist, but kind of half like that. Um, they're 4 95 I think I'm gonna have to buy. Mm. We're not gonna go get a drink because we're really thirsty. Where should, where, um, let's walk this way, we might find one. Um, this was the thrift store that we went in, I don't know if you can see. I was not gonna vlog in there because it's very, 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 just scary. Ben, show you the bag of stuff. Also, I bought something for Shauna. Now, I don't know if it's going to fit her. I don't know if she's going to like it, but I bought her for bought it for her. It was so cheap in there, so I just thought, why not? If it doesn't fit her, she doesn't like it. Whatever, we'll move past it. I will live another day. Um, I feel like my mouth is drying up like the Sahara Desert. It's hot. Me and Ben were just having a conversation about um, jaywalking because we were, we're just walking across like car parks, across streets and stuff. But I'm kind of worried, like, is that jaywalking, like, is that illegal? Like, I'm not really sure, because obviously in England you can literally walk across any road at all. Um, I don't know, like, can you imagine if we got stopped by the police for, like, walking across roads? Is the subway still here? 
I hope so. Because my mouth is so dry. Okay, imagine if we got stopped by the police for jaywalking. I'd literally be like, sir, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Honestly, guys, you go outside for two seconds, you have to come back in and literally blast the air on it. It's Woo, hi. Got our subways. This. Oh, God, no, I can't get it out. Oh, then help. I said large because I was thirsty. I did not quite expect it to be bigger than my head, but. Americans do everything at the extreme, don't they? Right, we're going to go to one more thrift store. Here we are. Here's the next thrift store, unique out there. I wonder if they'll have anything nice. It's really dead here. Like, it's just dead. It's a Saturday as well. Like, what's going on? Guys, I was thinking Ben should get this. I think that would look really good on him. <laughs> this is this thrift store. Look what American thrift stores like. They're great. Wow. See, this girl is so cute, but I think it's just a bit long. Like, it's a bit big. It's a size two, so I thought it would fit, but I think if it was a zero, it would be better because it would fit like that, but just a little bit. A weird shape. I just found an absolute steal. I can't wait to show you when I get home. I'll show you when I get home. We're gonna drive home now. Just gonna take a quick photo over there because I need some photos for Instagram. Um, and then yeah, I'll show you. I think I, I think I've absolutely smashed the thrifting today. I'm not gonna lie. Win the league now though is what that means. Right. And do you know what I mean? Because if Everton get relegated, and Liverpool win the league. I might have to top it. Don't want that to happen. We're home. Um, I'm really, actually, really proud of myself for driving. I, like, I think I did actually really quite well. Um, but we got some photos as well. I don't know. I don't know what's happened then with that. Oh, let me check. Okay. Um, I think we did really, really well. And um, we're now going to go and over and spend some time with some of my nan's friends. So, let's go and have an old people party. Get the drinks, Freddy. <laughs> right. I said I'd do your thrift store haul. I will do your thrift store haul in the morning. Right now, I'm going out with David and Irina. They're crazy kids, so it's gonna be fun. Um, but I haven't actually been able to drink in America before. So, I'm finally gonna go out drinking. I've got these shirts for David. I'm taking him in my car, I've got to drive. I'm also slightly scared, actually, to be fair, it's not quite dark yet, but I've got to drive in the dark <laughs> on my own. <laughs> I said, right, ignore, if there's a loud noise that you can hear, it's just the pools have been turned on. Um, so it's like doing its thing, so it's a little bit like, do you know what I mean? But I said I would do a, what I got from the thrift store. So I'm gonna do a quick what I got from the thrift store for everybody that wants to know. Best thrift store experience I've had and I'm definitely gonna go back to see if I can find more. Also my skin's just started to get really bad. Really good. I'm also about to spend, sorry, I, I'm, I am gonna do this in a minute. I'm also about to spend literally the whole day let out there in the sun, catching a tan. I'm quite tanned anyway, but you can always do more tan. I'm gonna start with the best thing. I know normally you save the best for last, but I'm gonna start with the best thing. Guys, I found a Gucci handbag. 14.99 this was, so 14.99 now. I'm like 98% sure it's real. Um, obviously it's kind of hard to tell, but it has all of the trademark in. It's got all of the kind of Gucci logos on all of the of the hardware. The hardware's not like plated, it's like actually like proper metal. Um, all of the marks are on it and everything like that. It feels amazing. It's obviously been really, really like used and it's just still amazing condition. The stitching is amazing. I'm like 98% sure it is real and it was 14.99. Like, I don't think they can actually sell things in thrift stores and say that it's Gucci without it actually being Gucci. It's unbelievably impressive finding this. 14.99, look how cute that is. Can you imagine just like a little like airport bag? I love it, so cute, proper good find. Next thing I got, you haven't really thrifted properly if you haven't found a pair of Levi's jeans, let's, let's be real. Um, so I picked up these ones. These ones are actually men's, um, but they're a really, really, really nice wash. These were 4.95. $4.95, that's like $3.80, something crazy like that. Um, and they're really, really nice. They're actually men's ones. They're quite big on the waist, but I actually don't mind that because they kind of just sit wide on my waist, but then my waist sits, sits like slimmer in and then kind of just makes me look more skinny, which is great. And they've obviously got a really nice Levi's bit on the back and the little, where's it gone? The little red tag there. Love those, literally $5. Next thing I got, I didn't get that much stuff, guys. I will do some more if I do any more. Next thing I got is this little Nike Scort. Um, and I know obviously these were like really crazy last summer, summer before, but I feel like they could never get old. Like it looks really cute on $5.49. So love that. I also bought something for Shauna, which I'm actually not going to show you because this video is probably going to go out before I go home. But I bought her some cargoes. I don't know if they're going to fit, but I just thought I had to buy it. You know, I can't go to a thrift store and not buy something for Shauna because Shauna is the thrift store queen, um, as she would say herself. So yeah, that's what I got. Really, really super impressive. Guys, sorry, just how, what a find is this? I'm gonna have to go back to this thrift store because I need more of these, I need more. It is really hot today. What does that thermostat say? It's 82 right now, which is in, um, in Celsius, it's 28 degrees. 
but it feels so much hotter because it's obviously really humid here. I just love it. I'm gonna go and lie out in the sun and get a suntan. Hello everyone. Right, I've got the setup here. Look at this. Just lying, chilling. Now it does smell a little bit like dog poo, but what can we do about that? Right, I can't see a bloody thing actually. Let me turn the music off while I speak. Um, Ben's bringing me out some sun cream because I don't want to burn. Um, it's really freaking hot. Like, it's really hot. I'm like sweating. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lie here and then get really hot and then I'll just go jump in the pool because obviously that cools you down. I can't even open my eyes. I'm like a freaking mess right now. Woo! Yeah. Sun cream, kids. It's important. I feel like I'm just going to stand in shit. Yeah, it's probably best to come without socks on out here. I can't believe Ollie massacred a lizard earlier. Did he actually kill him? Yeah, he caught it. He had it in his mouth and he was like... Grr. Ollie killed a lizard, guys. He ate a lizard and killed it. Right, I don't know how much of me you can see, but I'm sweaty as hell right now. Um, so I think me and Ben are going to go in the pool in a second. Ollie, do you want to come out and say hi? Come here, baby. Look at you with your shirt on. Come here. So me and Ben are going to go in the pool in a second. And cool off, I'll get this hair wet and then it'll make me, like it's pretty much wet with sweat anyway, but then if I get my hair wet, then it will obviously make me cooler. Did you see that? Yeah, Lovely. Right, so I've just come to the mall. I've met Hannah. <laughs> I told her not to look at me. <laughs> I've, just, I've met Hannah and Hannah. Well, I obviously knew Hannah before, and met Hannah's boyfriend for the first time, which is really lovely. And um, we're walking around, but I, I think did I even mention before that my car doesn't even work here, so I can't even buy anything. Like it's just the case of being here just to have a walk around. Um, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to sort my car, my card out soon, so that I can actually buy things because. I feel like this, the clothes in America are just better. Like, I don't know what it is. I feel like the shops are better and everything's just better. So I do want to spend all my money. Um, so I'm going to ring the bank when I get home. Um, I think we're going to go and find something to eat. because so I'm really hungry. All I've had today is mac and cheese um, for breakfast. <laughs> I know. Um, so we're going to go find somewhere to eat because I'm starving. Oh, that's right, we've come and sat down guys and this is a side salad. This is a side salad, look at the freaking size of it. That would literally be my whole meal, Jesus Christ. Right, so I just ate the majority of that salad and now look at the flipping size of this meal. I don't know how Americans do it, I really don't understand. I am literally balancing you like just on my coffee cup, like I swear to God if that drops. You're going in the coffee, which is not going to be good or financially great at all. I'm just editing this vlog now, um, and it just makes me so happy to have American vloggers again. Like, I just love America so much. Like, obviously, I love it here. It's so hot, and it's just so lovely. Everybody's so nice. Like, I just love America. I really, If you've never been to America, you really should go to America. Um, one thing I was going to tell you about, I just realised I didn't really feel anything when I went out the other night. Very different culture drink, uh, going out drinking. It's very, very different. I think maybe we might do it one more day. Maybe on Friday I might go out again. But, um... It's very, very different here. <laughs> but guess what, right? So I had this horrible vodka drink, right? They, they literally, it was like vodka on the rocks, basically. Um, it had like a little bit of soda water in it, but it was absolutely vile. So I wanted a different drink. And I was like, you know what, I want a cocktail. So of course, like any normal person would say, oh, I just want a porn star martini. If you, you know, if you're not enjoying your drink, you think, I'll oh, just get a porn star martini, I'll enjoy it. I said to the bartender, can I have a porn star martini, please? And he looked at me as if I was speaking an actual different language. And he was like, I can't, don't, what did you say? I was like, a porn star martini. He was like, so I can't understand you. I was like, a porn star martini. And he was like, I don't know what that is. I was like, what? It turns out, oh, God, I, I, honestly, I'm just as shocked as you are. Americans don't know what porn star martinis are. They don't drink porn star martinis. They don't know what they are. They've got no idea. I literally showed him a photo of it and like, the recipe. And he was like, nah, not heard of that. So you learn something new every day. I mean, I thought everybody in the whole world knew what porn star martini is, but clearly 
clearly they don't so yeah i was a bit shocked about that not gonna lie um but apart from that we've just really been chilling to be honest we haven't we haven't really been doing that much at the moment we're just kind of chilling i'm just excited for the next vlogs i think we are going to be doing a little bit more now that i've kind of like got my bearings and like my sleep patterns a little bit more on schedule hopefully going to be doing a little bit more stuff so of course i will show you in the other vlogs so please stay tuned if you are really liking these vlogs give this video a like if you haven't already um and obviously subscribe to me and turn the notifications on if you want to see my other florida vlogs i think i'm going to do another two after this one um just so there'll be like three three florida vlogs for you guys to watch i have my granddad there walking around the kitchen so yeah i really really love filming these vlogs i love filming holiday vlogs because i think everybody's just so much happier when they're on holiday and obviously that reflects in the vlogs as well um so yeah i hope you really really enjoyed thank you so much for watching yeah i will see you in the next vlog bye guys